Today, we're going to take a look at sphere mapping in Unreal and Unity. Let's go. Sphere mapping is mapping a spherical texture, like the one that you see here in our preview, to our mesh to imitate the effects of reflection. It's basically a cheap way of doing reflection. Now, I showed an example of how to do this way back in episode 10, but I actually made a mistake when I was explaining uh, how to do it in that episode. And so I wanna make this episode to correct that problem. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take a look at this first in Unity. So this is the example that we made in episode 10. We take uh, the normal vector in world space. We transform it from world to view. And then we multiply that vector by 0.5 and we add 0.5. And this changes the vector's range from negative one to one to zero to one. And then we're able to use the resulting uh, values as texture coordinates uh, to look up our texture. If you take a look at our results here, you can see that what we have here uh, is very similar to texture coordinates that we can then use to, to look up our texture. So our texture looks like this. It's a, it's a sphere painted to look like reflections. And when we apply that sphere to our model, uh, it makes it look like it's reflecting things uh, when it's actually not. Um, but there is a problem. It works great in our preview window, window here because we're staring straight at our mesh. But when we actually go into our scene, you can see that as long as I'm looking straight at our mesh, everything works fine in the scene. But if I come up close to the mesh and then I move off to the side, you can see that there's a problem here. And the problem is we're using view space and what we actually need to use is camera space. You can see that the behavior that I want is to have this uh, texture continue to look at me but instead, the texture is staying aligned with the plane of the camera. So as I look off to the side, it's staying aligned with the camera plane instead of rotating to look toward the camera, which is what I want. So let's take a look at how we solve this problem. Instead of doing it this way, uh, taking the normal vector in world space, transforming to view, and then using that to look up our texture, we're gonna to switch to this material here. In this material, we're taking our position in view space and normalizing it. Then we're taking our normal vector in view space and we're doing the cross product between these two vectors. Then we split out the result and we take the red channel of that and wire it into the green of a combine. We take the green channel and invert it. We multiply it by negative one and put that into the red. So we're basically swapping the red and the green channel here. And in the middle, we're multiplying the green by negative one to swap it. Then we perform the same operation we did before where we multiply by 0.5 and add 0.5 and the goal here is to change our range again from negative uh, one to one to a range of zero to one instead. So if we look at our results here, you can see that again, we're getting something that is uh, resembling UV coordinates that we can then use to look up uh, our sphere map. Okay. so. Let's take a look at our results when we're using this material instead. All right, so when we're using our test sphere map material, you can see that now when I rotate the camera, instead of it staying aligned with the plane of the camera, it's actually continuing to look at uh, the position of the camera instead, which is exactly the effect that I was looking for. And it overcomes that weakness that we had before where when you got too close to the object, uh, it would break the effect. So this is actually a pretty neat effect. If you do a Google search for matte cap 
uh, material or matte cap texture. You can find a bunch of these textures online for use. Or you can make your own. Just paint the sphere in the middle of the texture however you want and apply it to your shader. It's one of the cheapest ways that you can get reflections on your model. So if you're trying to do reflections on a mobile device, for example, with really cheap shaders and small uh, textures, this is the way to do it. All right, let's switch over to Unreal and take a look at the same thing there. All right, here we are in Unreal, and you can see that I have a scene with a simple test sphere. And you can also see that I have the same kind of a problem that I was having in Unity where when I rotate the camera to the side, uh, my matte cap material or my spherical uh, reflections are rotating to stay in line with the camera instead of rotating to face the camera. And so let's solve this problem. This is the example that we made in episode 10 using our world space vertex normal transform from world space to view space. Uh, and then we adjust the range uh, starting out with negative one to one and adjusting it to zero to one here. And then just taking the X and the Y coordinates to use to sample our texture map. So this is what we were doing. Let's fix it. I'm gonna switch over to this new shader that I've created that works a little bit better. So I'm just gonna walk you through how this works. So I'm taking the absolute world position and then using the transform position node to transform that position from world space to view space. Uh, one thing to notice here is there is a difference between transform position and transform vector. You have to use transform vector to, trans to transform the normal but you have to use the transform position to transform the absolute world position. So I'm transforming the absolute world position from a uh, world space to view space. And then I normalize the result. And then I do a cross product between that and the vertex normal in world space, which has been transformed to view space as well. After doing that cross product, I then swap the red and the green channels here. I'm using the split components and the append many node uh, to do that, just to flip flop the red and the green channels. If you know an easier way of doing this, please let me know. I really love how it works in Unity where I can just use the swizzle and type YX instead of XY. Uh, but here, the only way I know of doing this is uh, using split components and append many. So I'm swapping the red and the green channels here. And then I multiply the result of that um, by 0.5. And this is these two nodes here, multiply and add, are to adjust my range from the negative one to one to zero to one space. And then I can use the resulting UV coordinates to sample my texture. And you can see I get a nice result like this. And if we apply this material to our model in our scene, now you can see when I rotate my camera to the side, my spherical reflection map follows and continues to look at the material. And I no longer have that problem that I did uh, where it's staying aligned to the view instead of looking at the view. So, pretty cool. I solved my problem, and now I have a much more robust uh, matte cap material uh, shader or uh, spherical reflection map shader. Again, you can use these uh, in situations where you need a really inexpensive shader, like if you're doing VR or if you're doing a mobile application and you want uh, reflections. These use the least amount of texture space for your reflection and they also are a pretty cheap shader. So uh, a great trick. Let me, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And uh, I hope you found this video useful and that it's a technique that you can apply in your own projects. Have a great week, everybody.